sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that that day when the sun comes out of the west, arises out of the west, la yanfa'u nafsan imanuha lam takun amanat min qablu aw kasabat fi imaniya khayra. That day when people see the sun coming out of the west and then they remember the words of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then they connect the two together, what happens? Everyone wants to repent to Allah. Everyone now wants to become a believer. Everyone wants to return back to Allah. Everyone wants to seek Allah's forgiveness. But Allah makes it clear, makes it clear from now, Allah is not going to accept the repentance and the belief of anyone at that time. Too late. Too late. When the sun rises from the west, Allah does not accept any repentance from any believer and Allah does not really accept any belief from a non-believer. When the sun rises from the west, Allah does not accept the repentance of a believer and Allah does not accept the belief and the iman of a non-believer. That's it. Too late. You had your chance. No more repentance. The doors and the gates of repentance are shut. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Allah will continue to accept the repentance of one of you until the sun comes out of the west. Until the sun rises from the west. When it rises from the west, it's sealed on the hearts of people. That's it. Who believed, believed. Who disbelieved, disbelieved. Who prayed, prayed. And whoever never prayed will never get the chance, maybe to get that chance for Allah Azza wa to accept their prayers. That's why my brothers and my sisters, in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to always warn, repent to Allah before the sun rises from the west. Before the sun rises from the west. In another hadith, in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, hasten to do good before evil. Rush to do good before six things. And then he says, before the sun rising from the west, rush to do good. Do good before it comes out of the west. Because if it comes out of the west, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to accept your deeds anymore if you repent to Him. Allah azza wa jal is not going to accept repentance of a believer and Allah is not going to accept the belief of an unbeliever once the sun rises from the west. Those who believed, believed. And those who disbelieved, disbelieved. Those who obeyed, obeyed. And those who disobeyed, disobeyed. Some of the scholars say, that's their opinion, that the sun rising from the west is one of the last and final signs of the day of judgment. That's an opinion. However, other scholars say it is one of the first of the 10 major signs of the day of judgment. Allahu A'lam. But what's connected to the sun rising from the west is the emergence and the occurrence and the appearance of the beast. And that's another major sign from the signs of the day of judgment. Adabba. Adabba in Arabic, anything that walks on earth. Could be a human being, could be an animal, even an ant. In the Arabs refer to what? Adabba. But in general, they usually refer to animals and beasts. Adabba. Adabba here we refer to it as a beast because it's not a human being. But it has some characteristics of a human being. So it's like more of a beast, but it has some characteristics of the human being. What characteristics of the human being does the Dabba have? He speaks. A beast that speaks. Allah Azza wa Jalla clearly says in the Quran Kareem, وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَّةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ تُكَلِّمُهُمْ أَنَّ النَّاسَ كَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا لَا يُقِنُونَ Allah Azza wa Jalla says in Surah Al-Naml, verse 82, and when the word of Allah Azza wa Jal, the word of torment is fulfilled against them, we shall bring out from the earth a beast. Bring out from the earth a beast. So it comes out from the earth. A beast for them to speak to them. So the actual beast will speak to them. Because mankind believed not with certainty in our verses and miracles. So Allah Azza wa Jal makes it clear that one of the major signs of the Day of Judgment, a beast that will come out of earth. So it's not going to come from the heavens or from space. It's not an alien or UFOs. It's a beast that will come out of earth. Also Allah Azza wa Jalla says, will speak. So it speaks.
beast then usually speak what is it gonna say what's that beast gonna talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear will speak about Allah's verses Allah's miracles another hadith in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says this beast will come out and will speak what does it say it says you are a believer you are a kafir it points out to people speaking to them you are a mu'min believer and you're a kafir disbeliever and not only that in nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam he says the beast will mark and seal on the noses of people and their foreheads on their nose and their foreheads the scholars say the nose for the kuffar the forehead for the believers it will make a mark it will make a mark on the noses of the kuffar and their face will turn dark their face will turn dark and nasty and ugly and says you're a kafir and it will mark on the forehead of the believer and some scholars say on their noses and will make a mark that they are a believer and their face will become bright and glowing out of nur so this is a beast a beast that will come out as allah azza wa just says it will speak it will utter people will understand it and the prophet alayhi salatu was salam he says another hadith from the first of the major signs of the day of judgment the sun coming out of the west and then after the sunrise when the sun comes out of the west when the sun comes out of the west and it's sunrise nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam he says that's the time the beast comes out see how i said nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam connected them the sun will rise from the west few minutes or hours after the sun rises from the west the beast will come out one major sign after the other one shocking scene after the other in nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam then he says if this beast comes out then the sun will come after it so either one will come the other one will follow either one will come the other one will follow he says in the hadith one of the first major signs of the day of judgment the sun rising from the west when the sun had risen from the west that's when the beast comes out or the beast will come out then the sun will rise from the west but a lot of the scholars say the sun will rise from the west then the beast will emerge it will come out it speaks it says you're a believer mu'min and you're a disbeliever kafir that the prophet alayhi salatu was salam he says people will then start recognizing each other instead of saying muhammad and ahmad and sam and mahmoud do you know the non-believer do you know the kafir do you know the believer they'll be recognized no longer by names people will recognize each other by calling one another believer or non-believer the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam did not mention anything beyond that about the beast it's a beast a beast that will come out where would it come out there's a weak narration as i promised you before if it's weak i will mention to you there's a weak narration that says it will come out from masjid al-haram in mecca there's a weak narration that says it will come out from masjid al-haram in mecca and a lot of the scholars carry that opinion however more than what i just mentioned to you more than what i just mentioned to you there is nothing some people ever exaggerate they say this beast it's got a head of a bull and eyes of a pork and ears of an elephant and a neck of an emu and a chest of a lion and feet of camels no 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 these are all myths these are all myths well the prophet sallallahu tells us a beast will come out in another narration in nabi sallam says it will come out carrying the stick of musa and the ring of sulaiman and some scholars said this is a weak narration it will come out carrying the stick of musa and the ring of sulaiman and it will mark people's noses and foreheads 
the non-believer on his nose and make his face dark and ugly. People will know him as a disbeliever. And it will mark the nose or the forehead of the believer and people will recognize him through his bright and glowing face. Nur. And then in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he says, people will later on recognize each other as a believer, non-believer. Mu'min, kafir. Ma Allah Azza wa make us from the believers and the true believers. More than that, there is nothing. You might read a book that speaks about the signs of the Day of Judgment. You might hear another person tells you about the Day of Judgment. But I assure you what I mentioned to you today is only authentic. The third major sign that we'll talk about tonight is a dukhan. Not a dukhan, dukhan without the shadda. A dukhan. Where the Prophet ﷺ mentions in the hadith that the day of judgment will not take place until you experience a dukhan. And what's a dukhan in Arabic? Smoke. A smoke that will occur in the air, in the skies. We will see it, we will also feel it. It will enter our noses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about it in the Quran al-Kareem. فَارْتَقِبْ يَوْمَ تَأْتِ السَّمَاءُ بِدُخَانٍ مُبِينٍ Then watch for the day when the sky will bring a visible smoke. يَحْشَ النَّاسَ هَذَا عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ Covering the people. This is a painful torment and punishment. رَبَّنَا اكْشَفْ عَنَّا الْعَذَابِ إِنَّا مُؤْمِنُونَ People say, Ya Allah, turn away and remove this torment and punishment from us. We are believers. الدخان. A smoke. One of the major signs of the ten major signs of the Day of Judgment. That will occur connected to the ten. Which one comes which? Allahu A'lam. We've mentioned what's connected and what's not connected. However, they all come at once. Like they're all connected together. One once, once comes, the other one goes, the other one follows. In Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he describes that Dukhan a smoke in the air, as Allah describes it, visible. Some ahadith say dark smoke in the air. Dark smoke in the air. People will see it. As Allah makes it very clear. People will see it. People will feel it. It will enter the noses of everyone because everyone's breathing it. But then the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, alayhi salatu wa sallam, he says, it will enter every single human being. It will come. Everyone will breathe it. It's there. They could see it. They could smell it. They could breathe it. In Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, will come upon the believers like a flu. The impact that will have upon the believers, like a flu, cold. And the impact that will have upon the non-believers, disaster, death, severe illness and make him get unconscious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the controller of everything. The Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, he mentions that once the dukhan appears, Allah would not accept repentance.